now let me discuss the uses of local anesthetics now if you see these agents can be used in following types of anesthesia number one it is used in case of surface anesthesia these drugs they are used in surface anesthesia number two they are used in case of infiltration anesthesia these drugs they are also useful for regional block that is the regional nerve block and these drugs they are also useful for spinal anesthesia now now let me discuss one by one first coming to the surface anesthesia in case of surface anesthesia remember the local anesthetic it is applied topically so in surface anesthesia topical application all right in case of surface anesthesia topical application of the local anesthetic has to be done now the topical application where this topical application it has to be done either it has to be done over the mucous membrane or this particular topical application has to be done over the abraded skin okay so this topical application has to be done either over the mucous membrane or over the abraded skin now remember in case of surface anesthesia a very important point that you need to remember is only the superficial area is anesthetized all right only the superficial area only the superficial area is anesthetized in case of surface anesthesia now the next point is what is the commonly used drug this will be a multiple choice question remember lignocaine is the commonly used agent for topical anesthesia all right so the question is lignocaine this is the drug which is commonly used agent for topical anesthesia this particular lignocaine it can be applied right this can be applied over the mucous membrane of eye or it can be applied over the mucous membrane of ear or it can be applied over the mucous membrane of nose mouth and as well as even over the pharynx all right so the most commonly used drug is what the most commonly used the topical anesthetic agent is the lignocaine all right and this is applied over the mucous membrane of the ear eye nose mouth and as well as even over the pharynx now this particular lignocaine it is used in various procedures remember it is also used during procedures like proctoscopy right it is also used during procedures like proctoscopy proctoscopy is the per anal examination so the proctoscope is inserted into the anal area and this proctoscopy is useful for the examination of the even hemorrhoids next this lignocaine is also applied during catheterization procedures now for example for inserting the foley's catheter into the urethra the lignocaine is injected or the lignocaine is introduced and after that this particular catheterization procedure is being done okay so for catheterization procedure this lignocaine is useful and even for the per rectal examination the lignocaine is useful okay so even for the per rectal examination the lignocaine is useful now a very important point you should remember about the lignocaine is that lignocaine is effective only when the skin is abraded whereas lignocaine is ineffective on the intact skin right this is a very very important point so this lignocaine remember 
it is ineffective over the intact skin this is a very important point okay now only when the skin is abraded this particular lignocaine will be useful now now there is a mixture right the name of the mixture or the mixture of the lignocaine with prilocaine now for example you want to apply the lignocaine over the intact skin over the intact skin it is ineffective but still if you want to apply you combine lignocaine with prilocaine right there is a mixture right there is a mixture what is this mixture it is lignocaine 2.5 percent and prilocaine 2.5 percent okay so lignocaine and prilocaine both of them they should be taken in one is to one ratio right both of them they have to be taken in one is to one ratio now after taking this lignocaine prilocaine in one is to one ratio this particular mixture can anesthetize even the unbroken skin remember this point only lignocaine it is ineffective on the intact skin whereas if you use this mixture that is lignocaine and as well as prilocaine mixture remember it can anesthetize even the unbroken skin all right so this can anesthetize even unbroken skin that means even the intact skin also can be anesthetized by this particular mixture now another important point what you should remember is the combination of these two agents that is combination of lignocaine and as well as prilocaine it lowers or it will reduce the melting point of the individual drug and that is the reason why this particular mixture it is available in the form of semi solid ointment right this mixture is available in the form of semi solid ointment okay next one important multiple choice question here is the name of this particular mixture remember this lignocaine 2.5 percent prilocaine 2.5 percent in a ratio of 1 is to 1 the this mixture is known as eutectic mixture all right the name of this mixture is right the name of the mixture is what this is called eutectic mixture is that clear next we have apart from this particular lignocaine there is one more drug which is called as oxythazine right which is also called as mucane right this particular oxythazine which is also called as mucane now where is this mucane or oxythazine useful for remember it is used to provide the symptomatic relief in patients with gastritis okay the mucane gel or oxythazine it is used to provide the symptomatic relief in patients who are suffering from gastritis so this is about your local anesthesia so remember the surface anesthesia i mean the local anesthetics are useful for the treatment in surface anesthesia in this the drugs are applied topically over the mucous membrane or over the abraded skin and this surface anesthesia will provide anesthesia only to that particular superficial area and the most commonly used drug is lignocaine this lignocaine can be applied over the mucous membrane of eye ear nose mouth and as well as pharynx an important point you need to remember is this lignocaine is ineffective in the intact skin it is effective only when the skin is abraded now the other procedures this particular lignocaine be, can be useful is proctoscopy catheterization and even parrectal examination now if you want to apply the lignocaine over the intact skin and to be effective you mix the lignocaine with prilocaine 2.5 percent lignocaine and 2.5 percent prilocaine in one to one ratio and that mixture is called as eutectic mixture and this mixture is effective even over the unbroken skin and we have one more drug which is called as oxythazine which is nothing but mucane this is useful for the symptomatic relief in patients suffering from gastritis all right so this is about your surface anesthesia